As Texas wildfires raced towards the nation's primary nuclear weapons facility, Pantex plant officials urgently called on local contractors who arrived within minutes with bulldozers to dig trenches and enlarge fire breaks for the sprawling complex where nuclear weapons are assembled and disassembled. The fires in February, including the largest in Texas history, didn't reach Pantex, though the fires did come within three miles of the facility. The size and speed of the grass on fires and Pantex's urgent response underscores how much is at stake as climate change stokes extreme heat and drought. Wildfires have previously threatened other U.S. facilities with radioactive material. In Southern California, the heavily polluted Santa Susana Field Laboratory experienced a wildfire in 2018 that burnt 80 percent of the site, narrowly missing an area contaminated by a 1959 partial nuclear meltdown. In New Mexico, the 40-square-mile Los Alamos National Laboratory had a wildfire come within a half mile of a radioactive waste site. Most radioactive material is contained in concrete structures or in underground storage designed to withstand fire. Wildfires aren't the only climate risk. Floods and extreme cold can also affect operations and have forced the shutdown of several Department of Energy sites in recent years. Pantex was forced to shut down in 2010 from an inundation of rain and in 2021 from extreme cold. The facility has adopted freeze protection measures, upgraded its fire protection plan, and installed backup generators. The Department of Energy says it's taking a closer look at how climate change could affect its sites in the future.